On a Saturday morning following the Kennedy assassination, I received a call at home. Uh, I lived at 4225 Curzon at that time uh, from Mr. Wiley, who was my principal, telling me to go to schools and to go to the records file and to get Lee Harvey Oswald's records and that uh, someone from the FBI would be there to pick them up. Uh, that's exactly what I did. Uh, I went to school. I uh, went to the records files, got his records out. I did open them. I did look at them uh, kind of in a cursory way. Uh, and, and the only thing I can recall is that the records for Stripling were in that he didn't attend there a full year. Uh, I put it back in a brown envelope and uh, left it on my desk and waited, oh, 10, 15 minutes or, or perhaps longer. And two gentlemen came in, uh, showed me identification that they were FBI agents. Uh, I gave them the records, and, and the best I remember, one of them did open the envelope and kind of looked in it. And they thanked me, and they left, and I locked the doors, and I went home. And that's about all I, I know about Lee Harvey Oswald. Okay, um, okay. Go ahead. Oh, it's done. Uh, you had mentioned last night about um, the the procedures of, of elementary school records. Yeah. I, um, the the records that, that I turned over to the to the FBI may uh, have contained the elementary school records that, that you have in your files, because it was it was the, the the procedure that when a student moved from the elementary level to the junior high level. A copy of their record were forwarded to show that they had successfully completed the sixth grade. Um, and as I said last night, um, how did that? How did this, all the records in the elementary school show up, and there are none from the junior high school? And that I think that would be an interesting uh, path to, to go down to see how those records got into the files and where they came from. Did someone go to the elementary school and get them? No. Just, just to clarify, we are, we are, we are talking about the records of Lee Harvey Oswald, the the accused assassin of Princeton. Kennedy. That's right. Mm -hmm. And to your knowledge, he did attend uh, Stripling. Yes, school. he had to attend. Uh, I don't didn't know Lee Harvey Oswald. I, I didn't know he was a student there. But we wouldn't have had a copy of, some, of records for them had he not attended at least, um, you know, even one day. Uh, we would we would have had a record. And uh, as I said before. The best of my knowledge, the best of my recollection, his records were incomplete in that they did not show a full year of attendance. How many FBI agents uh, came to the school? Two. Mm -hmm. And you can't identify them? Oh, gosh, no. <laughs> when you looked at the records, did you by chance notice that he had had grade marks, not necessarily what the grade marks were, grade marks to indicate that he'd been there um, a six-week period in order to receive grades, or you know, that's I I, I believe that that he had grades for one six-week period. That's the best I can remember. But that you know, uh, I wouldn't want to swear to that. And the time period of his uh, of his attendance in the school, uh, which which school year was it, or which semester was it? Again, the, trying to recall from looking at that record, it would have been in the fall semester. Um, I, I don't. I can't answer that. I don't know. Why do you say the fall semester? Because the best I remember, the report card would start start on the left hand side with courses, and the grades went first six weeks was in the first column, and I remember that that seemed like to, I remember that column was complete, and there was nothing else beyond that. That column was complete, yeah. and that he received grades for the first six weeks. Six weeks. And John, the the year that that uh, he w he would have been um, he would have been a, a a sophomore. No, see, we only went through the ninth grade, which is seventh, eighth, and ninth. Seventh, eighth, and ninth so grade. Would have been a senior. Uh, yes, if that well, not necessarily. All the report cards were exactly alike. Uh, I mean, he could have been in the seventh, eighth, or ninth, seventh or ninth grade. <laughs> And, and, and if it came to if it came to stripling from uh, from Ridgely West Elementary, 
the first entrance would have been as a as a seventh grader. But uh, after my discussion with you all last night, there's some uh, really confusion as to where he did go in the seventh grade. Yeah. And uh, uh, I wish I could, wish I could think of someone that that that. Uh, Frank, is it um, not to put words in your mouth? But is it possible that he could have attended? Um, Second six-week period or a third six-week period, or you, are you reasonably sure it was just one six-week period? Oh, he, he could have attended, um, uh, say, even as much as three weeks into six weeks, and not received any. The grades wouldn't have gone on the permanent record. They would have been grades in progress that were sent to the school, to which we were asked to send records. I see. And the FBI didn't ask for those. They just asked for the permanent records. Yes. Uh huh. And, and, and that would have all been contained in the same package. What is in one of those packages? Uh, generally, it's the it's the uh, uh, the record uh, of the student up to the time we get them, and then uh, we got them, and then uh, the record. Uh, if you attend a Stripling Junior High School seventh, eighth, and ninth, there would be a copy of your report card in that in that record. Now, uh, I also uh, my wife mentioned something last night that there's a, there's a possibility that there was a cumulative folder. Uh, counselors generally kept a cumulative folder on students, uh, which would have indicated their, their grades, their uh, uh, any, any, any testing that might have been done, uh, and uh, any, any testing records that, that we would have had. Uh, and I don't know, you know, I don't know whether those, those records were ever uh, kept or, or uh, had were they microfished? I don't. I don't remember. What about health records? With health records, health records were record? generally contained in the same packet that, that we had. Uh, that that have the vaccination record. Um, they show that that the, uh, the student had been vaccinated. Um, Was it the same records from one student to another? In other words, contain all the similar items: the health, mm -hmm. health, and the cumulative records and so would there be report cards in there? Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, in the, in the counselor's records? Or in the in the main office? In the brown envelope you were speaking of. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, that would have been, the case would have been the most important thing in there. It was grade cards. So would there have been grade cards for grades um, perhaps 4, 5, and 6 when he attended Ridgely West Elementary School? There might have been a, a, a copy of them more than likely, there would have been a copy of the sixth grade report card in there. Just a curiosity, in the early 50s, they didn't have copy machines yet, did they? No, we used those old simple mimeograph, mimeograph machines. machines. And were those acceptable to copy grade cards? Could you copy cards by using no, them? No, uh, no. So, so then what? You have to hand, hand copy a, a report card. Hand copy a report Okay, so copies, right. hand copies of report cards right. would be in there. Uh, if... Uh, uh, if you, if the student left Stripling Junior High School, when they left, they checked out of school. Mm -hmm. We would we would give them uh, a copy of the report card and a checkout sheet showing that they had uh, had legally withdrawn from Stripling and were eligible to attend another school. Now, the fact that you still had Lee Oswald's packet envelope, mm -hmm. what would that indicate as far as? Uh, the subsequent school that he would have attended after stripping nothing nothing mm -mm. because we would we would have sent a copy to that school would there have been a notice in that brown envelope indicating which school would have requested there might have been but i really don't recall well, i'm not asking you to remember it <laughs> there's a um, would it be a normal thing to do normal thing to have in the file let's see it's sent to Well, I, I would say yes. I don't recall the procedure, but I would say that we would have, we would we were would have kept a, a good record of what what we did with students. You had related to us last night, Frank, that the um, that there was a directive given to the children to to the other students about. Well, not a directive. We.